Okay, very good morning, everyone, and welcome to the briefing for Saturday, the 4th of June, and that is the last day of the comms. So first of all, taking a look at the chart, we see exactly the same picture as we had, have had pretty much for the last week. This high pressure centred up to the northwest, uh, bringing slightly lighter now, uh, sort of northeast, easterly winds, um, ever so slightly lighter than it has been. As we go further ahead, if it wants to load, it doesn't want to load. Okay, well, I can tell you from what I saw earlier, as we go further ahead, uh, the picture really is not changing for well, several days to come. Spot winds today at flying height uh, towards the south coast. It's uh, quite strong at 30 knots, but here more in the centre of the country, about 10 knots, both from the northeast. So probably about 20 knots at flying height today. Uh, the current sat pick uh, is showing quite a clear outlook over the southern part of England uh, with a little bit of this cloud cover up to the northeast. And the public forecast shows a nice sunny day with a top temperature of 21 degrees. That northeasterly wind only going up to about 15 knots uh, this afternoon, which is slightly lighter than it has been, and a high UV index. Top temperature today of about well, 17, 18 degrees, GFS is predicting, but I think it'll be a bit warmer than that. And the dew point of about 9 or 10, so uh, quite a good split there. And that's the current view outside, uh, nice and clear. David Masson's forecast is for it to be storable by 11 a.m. and then 3,500 to 4,000 foot cumulus uh, or potentially blue. Uh, by about midday and then in the afternoon, four to four and a half thousand feet. And he said it could be shallow cumulus, but it could also be blue, I think. Top temp uh, sorry, current temperature at Lasham is 13 degrees with a dew point of seven. And Farnborough not really observing much at all. Uh, 10 knots of wind from the northeast and no cloud. And they're not forecasting anything different from that. Uh, top meteo. Uh, potential flight distance for an 18 meter glider is as uh, shown, uh, showing good sort of up into Wales and into Cambridgeshire, uh, but pretty good in the Lasham area. We look at thermals at 10 a.m. Uh, not a lot if we go towards 11, uh, blue thermals to about 2,000 feet, and into the afternoon up to about 3,000 feet by the looks of it. This is two o'clock. Yeah, potentially a bit higher there. So uh, 1,500, that's, well, four four and a half thousand feet, really. Uh, but it is showing that it's going to be blue. It's not picking up any cloud around here. Um, so a little bit to the north. Uh, but showing, like, it looks like it's going quite high. If we look at the site forecast for Lasham. Uh, we see usable height. Uh, thermals getting to 3,000 by midday and then by 3 or 4 o'clock uh, about 4,500 feet. Uh, thermal strength being around 3 knots uh, towards the middle of the day. No TAMs, there's really nothing in the Lasham area. 17 there is our no TAM still. And uh, the only one that may be of effect is this one up to the north uh, air display and that includes a restricted area temporary at Ragley Hill. So anyone going all the way up there, then uh, just have a look at that one. Be sure to avoid it. Otherwise, in our area, there's really nothing to affect. Okay, operationally, will be exactly the same as we have been for the last week. Club launch point set up on the end of 1.6 with launching in the direction of 0 0.9. Reasonably close to the north side, but leaving a, enough of a gap for gliders to come through here. We'll put a couple of cones out and just make sure you stay outside of those. Grid will be on the main runway, as it has been. So for those of you that maybe haven't been, or just keep reminding, club flying dur during competitions is aerotow only. Uh, we have a reduced rate aerotow for which current pilots or pilots under instruction, and that's £25 to 1,500 feet. Uh, otherwise, it's normal aerotow rates. Uh, where possible, could people do left-hand circuits to land on the north side grass? If you do land on the south side, especially when the grid is going, there might be a significant delay before we can get to you. Pump will be launching from some point 12pm onwards, and when that does go, we'll suspend 
uh, club flying for about an hour. And be aware there will be many gliders in the vicinity uh, when they launch, about 80 of them. So keep a really good lookout if you're flying at that point. And then later on in the day, they will be flying or coming in from the west, potentially straight in. So again, keep a really good lookout for that. Um, but that's pretty much it from me. Should be quite a straightforward day. I'll see you out there. Bye for now.